Hello guys, it's the new season, the Match Day Live is back, so let's get into it, let's cue that intro. Oh no, and welcome back to the Match Day Live, and it's me Dan, back again, and the season starts tonight, it's Manchester United versus Fulham. This time round, we're the first game, normally we've been, for some reason, the last couple of seasons, we've been the... Uh, Monday night game, but yeah, this uh, this game is the Friday night game. It's the eight o'clock kickoff, and uh, the team. I think it will kind of pick itself. Whether or not it will be this team is another question. So let's go to the team management. So I think this will be the team. I think Rashford will either be put up top, or it'll be either Fernandez or Mason Mount as the number ten, and then obviously Garnacho and Diallo. I think you can't drop these two after last weekend. Um, so I think it will be them too, and then either Rashford up top or maybe Garnacho and Rashford and then Fernandez. I'm not too sure, uh, but I think the midfield will be Mainu and Casemiro, obviously. And then in the defence, new signings. I think they will start tonight, Delict and Mazzari. Uh, I think they will both start tonight with Delo at left back and then Martinez as the left uh, centre back, and then obviously Onana in net. Um, whether or not Xerxes will start, I'm not too sure. Uh, Eric Ten Hag did say that he's not just ready yet, um, so we might see his debut tonight. I'm not too sure. I'll be very, I'll be very surprised. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So let's yeah, let's get into it. And let's play match. So let's talk about. Uh, obviously, we won the FA Cup uh, from last time speaking about Manchester United. Obviously, we won the FA Cup. We beat Man City, which was good at the end of last season. Um, and then the mid preseason hasn't gone the best, really. You know, we've had a couple of victories, but you don't really count preseason. And then obviously we had the Community Shield on Sunday, and we lost that game on penalties. Um, we should have easily won that game. Uh, we were, I thought we were the better team, and we was just unlucky not to uh, get the victories in the end, get the goals in the end. And we did get a goal through Gonacho, um, good cut inside, and then obviously. Um, yeah, he scored. So then that was one nil, and um, oh, how's he saved that? Um, yeah, so yeah, it was Garnacho just cut inside and basically basically put it into the net. So then that was one nil, and then we had uh, Bernardo Silva at the right back position. Literally 89th minute. He uh, scored um, from the back post. Police, I don't know why Ten Hag brought Polistri on as a right back. It, um, yeah, it was a bit of a weird, a bit of a weird one that one. Um, and then obviously the Monday we signed uh, Mazzari. So <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a weird one that. Um, but then uh, yeah, so we uh, Bernardo skill was scored, and then obviously we were lost seven six on penalties. We was winning that penalties as well, but Jaden Sancho. Uh, JJ Sancho's penalty was well saved from Edison and then in the end um, we uh, lost on penalties because Johnny Evans yeah let's just say John let's just finish it off with Johnny Evans just it was just Johnny Evans wasn't it um, that was the that was the um, that was the thing oh, we're losing how are we losing um, oh, of course it's a former United player uh, Andreas Pereira with the goal Um but yeah, it was it wasn't the best of games to be honest. It, you know, it's the Community Shield, so you, there was going to be uh, it wasn't going to be the best performance, obviously. But City were weak, and you know they didn't have their best players on. Um, you know, most of their players, obviously, the English players weren't there, Foden and Rodri and all that. Um, but we should have won that game. We had so many chances to win it. It was just annoying that we didn't win it. Um, so then we go on to tonight. So obviously we do face Fulham um, with our new signings. Let's talk about our new signings. Um, obviously, Delict and Mazari signed on Monday. And obviously we have um, Xerxes and poor, <laughs> poor Lenny Yoro as well. Uh, Lenny Yoro, obviously the 18-year-old centre-back. First game, of course, he got injured and he's out for a couple of months Um he should be back after the international break, apparently. Um, whether or not he will be is another question, but let's see. And, uh, oh, how's he saved that? Go on, put it in. There we go. Um, so, <laughs> so, yeah, it's um, four signings so far. Really good signings as well. Obviously, we let go of uh, Martial, uh, Varane, 
who else should we let we let go of a couple of youngsters that uh, we let go of and obviously the main one Wan Bissaka I didn't think we was going to sell Wan Bissaka but we have uh, he's gone to West Ham which is a good move for him and then obviously we got Mazari and Delict obviously former Ajax players former Bayern Munich players um, I was a bit worried about this one because you know Bayern know why they're selling them I do like Delict. I think Delict will help us in the centre defence, you know, centre at uh, the centre back role. But I am a bit worried about Mazzari. He's he is a good player. He can play left left back or right back, and I kind of see why Ten Hag has signed him. Um, but yeah, it's a bit. Uh, it, I, I don't know. Um, it was a good, it was a good signing. I'm not gonna lie. You know, we needed the player, and uh, we. I don't know. I didn't really get it. And obviously, we are still after a centre midfielder, um, Ugarte, from PSG. It looks like it could be happening. Whether or not it'll be next week or, you know, at the end of the weekend, we might hear something. It's going to be, you know, he'll be a good signing for us as well for, um, you know, for the midfield for Casemiro. Casemiro had a good game. And actually, Casemiro looks... Uh, he looks... Yeah, he looks... He looks he, well. He looks like he looks like he's in shape. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, he doesn't look like he's you know like he was at the end of that last season. He looked really. Oh, how did he not score there? He looked uh, really blow. You know, he looked a bit chubby and or what's it, chubby Miro or something. People you know said about him. And oh look, there we go, Delo at the back post there. Um, but, yeah, um, so, yeah, Lenny Yoro, unfortunately, first game in, I think it was the second half where... Oh, no, I think it was his second game, wasn't it, actually, that he uh, got the uh, injury in. Um, broken metatarsal, apparently. Apparently, they have uh, they knew something about it in the uh, medical for his, um, for his move. And he's going to be a good signing for us because, apparently... Uh, like a, uh, apparently the Mbappe of defending, whether or not that's true or not, is another question. Obviously, he's, he, you know, the metatarsal break, that's a massive loss for us. And obviously, hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't get any more injuries because obviously last season we had the injuries and it didn't really help. Um, so we need to, you know, we need to hopefully start off this season with a win and obviously Fulham themselves they've had a good site good uh, window obviously they've signed uh, Smith Rowe from Arsenal he looks like a good player for them and obviously they've got Pereira um, I'm trying to think who else they've signed I, I can't remember who else they've signed they've signed someone I can't remember who it is um, but you know it, you know, they are a good team on their day and we have to watch out for them um, but I think you know United you know, whether or not we started clicking at the end of the season, you know, we've got our good players back. You know, we just hope... Oh, that's offside. Uh, we just hope that we don't get any more injuries at the start of the season and fingers crossed we'll do that. But, um, you know, it's Old Trafford. It's going to be interesting, you know, under the new era of Ineos, obviously we got uh, Rude, 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 Rude Van Nistelrooy, uh, Rude <laughs> as uh, the uh, new assistant manager with another uh, Dutch man a Dutch uh, coach as well. I totally forgot what his name is. Um, got added to our uh, yeah. Got added to our uh, um, coaching, and I think some of the other coaching roles of uh, people have gone. So yeah, we've got new coaches in, and we've got like a set piece a taker as well, which is nice to see. Um, so yeah, it is. It's going to be an interesting season. Um, whether or not you know, it we you know, whether or not it'll work is another question. Obviously, at the end of last season, we didn't know if Ten Hag was going to be the manager at the end of the season or not. But they stuck with him. They brought you know coaches in like good like Van Nistelrooy as well. He looks like a really good coach. And I'm not going to lie, if Ten Hag gets sacked, you know he's going to get the manager's job because he he looks like a, he looks like a good coach and. Um, you know, being our being our um, assistant manager, it's got you got him loathing over Ten Hag, so you could see that happening um, if we don't perform well. And you know, down the line, we might get sacked. He might get sacked by Christmas. I don't think that's going to happen. Obviously, oh, I've totally forgot about Jaden Sancho. Uh, we got Sancho back as well. He looks like a good, he, you know, bit of fresh air to midfield uh, for the wingers. I totally forgot to add Sancho 
to this team. Uh, there is talk of obviously McTominay going as well. There's still talk of other players going as well. Um, Sancho maybe to PSG. Whether or not that will happen is another question. Uh, apparently, um, Chelsea wanted. Uh, apparently, Chelsea. Oh, I didn't mean to uh, pass it there. I, apparently, um, Chelsea have been linked with Sancho now, which, again, it would be a good move for him. But again, I think we should keep him. Uh, it, he might be a bit Bart player. He might start tonight. You never know. Um, but, you know, a bit of freshness uh, into that uh, winger's situation. I think we'll be OK. Um, obviously, we lost Hoyland as well, which is an injury. And obviously, Luke Shaw. Uh, as well to injury, <sighs> annoyingly. I still think we do need a left-back. Um, a left-back, if we get Ugarte in, um, I think that'd be a good uh, sign-in for midfielder. And then striker, I think we're OK with striker. I know that we've got Harry Amas as left-back as well, um, who could maybe get onto the bench this time. He didn't get on the bench for the City game, which was very questionable. Um, but um, maybe we see him this year. We're not too sure, but... Yeah, losing Luke Shaw, he's injury prone. I think we we need a left back, and obviously we still don't know what's happening with Malassia. Um, so we need a left back. Whether or not that'll be on loan, I'm not too sure, but we definitely need a left back to help with because we can't keep playing um, Mazari and um, what's his name, Delo as right left back, right back situation. I mean, we could do, um, but you know. Hopefully, we'll get Luke Shaw back as soon as possible. He'll be back before the international break, uh, before after the international break. So will um, apparently Lenny Yoro as well. He might be back for that uh, game after the international break. In, this is in September, by the way. And then, obviously, uh, Hoyland will be back, apparently, after the international break as well. So, yeah. Um, so, there we go. And, obviously, we won't talk about the Euros. <laughs> we lost. Um, but anyway, yeah, so there we go. Um, score prediction. I think United will win. I think we'll put. it won't be the best performance. It, Ten Hag has said in the press conference as well that, you, you know, this team is not ready for the season, uh, but we just have to put up with it. And, yeah, I think it might be like a pre-season game. These, you know, first couple of games, they're going to be, you know, like a pre-season game. Not much is going to happen. Uh, but I think... I think United will be up for it, and I just hope we get the three points. Start off our season with a victory. If we don't, um, you know, it's going to look like it's going to be a long season. Or hopefully, hopefully, we won't have a long season, and hopefully, we have a nice, easy, uh, easy couple of weeks uh, until that Liverpool game. Um, but yeah, that will be the big game, obviously. Uh, so anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today. So score prediction. Yeah, I'm going to go 2-1 Man United. I'm going to go as my score prediction. I think Fulham will score, but I think we'll. I think it'll be a consolation goal right at the end, maybe. Um, but I just think... I think we will win. Um, I, maybe a Xerxes goal? I'm not too sure. Let's see. So anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to leave your score prediction below. So right, guys, I'm going. Bye.